Okay, today we're going through hives and I'm pulling queens that have, you know, if you look at this laying pattern, it's kind of subpar. And uh, notice there's a semblance of a white dot on this queen. Boy, she's an old one. So I'm going through all of my hives and I'm pulling queens that have either odd laying behavior, uh, aggressive behavior. Anything that I don't like about the hive suggests that I'm going to requeen. Um, so I want the hive to be queenless for 24 hours before I introduce in a new queen cell. So I'm going to grab this queen. As soon as I get some of these bees away from her. They're like wondering what's, what's going on. Okay. And I'm basically going to put her into my nice swarm lure. It's just a little thing of alcohol. This is the queen graveyard here where all the queens go to become queen pheromone in my swarm traps. So again, if you look at that laying behavior, it's really terrible. I want to see broad, flat planes with all of the cells capped. And uh, so it might take a while to go through your hives and find them, but it's worth it. And you know, you find these queens and some of them look beautiful and you want to give them to a friend to help them out, but a subpar queen is a subpar queen. And uh, you don't want to kind of bless your friend with this kind of laying pattern. So it's best to just pull them things out, bite the bullet, try to get this hive looking right again before uh, we get into the fall. Like I said, it's hard to do, but we're going to pull them queens and I'm going to make these uh, hives queenless for at least 24 hours and then I'm going to come back in with a, a nice queen cell that I got from a reputable uh, queen breeder such as my mentor in Mills Hill. And uh, we're going to put a good queen cell in here. And being uh, early July, this is a good time for making splits or requeening. So you know, I'm going to come in here Thursday. I'm going to put queen cells back in all the hives that I've pulled the queens. Actually, it's important to have your hive queenless 24 hours. That makes the hive kind of readily accept that cell. And um, once we put the queen cell in here, we're going to leave this thing alone for that thing to emerge walk around the hive, go out and do her mating flights and come back and laying. We don't want to get back in any hive that's in the process of requeening. We want to make sure that we're given enough time to come back in and uh, we'll be looking for eggs the next time we get in the hive. 